All right, I'll try to show very quickly in this video a workflow of how I do our paints. This is my sketch and it looks ugly because I can draw and uh, this sketch is asymmetrical and that sort of thing, so I need to make it in vector in Inkscape and this is how we do it. First thing, I want to make this face symmetrical, so I grab here from the ruler, somewhere, anywhere. I grab and you see I am created a guide. So let's go here and denote somewhere in the middle of the face. So now I have a reference first and the second I have snapped to this reference. Now something I always forget, I need to create a new layer. Let's call it head. And let's start drawing. This is the most used tool, the Bezier curve. And we just click here. I could click and drag, but I don't like this because I d can't control how exactly, I don't see, I don't have any feedback, what exactly curvature I get, so I press backspace to delete this spot, and I just click to start drawing. I'll be using this part of the head, I like it better, so I anticipate where the head goes under the ear, and I click and drag until my curve matches the head here, how I want it. Now I want a pointy chin here. So I need to create one more point, for example, let's create it here. And you see I can move around. As I drag, the curvature changes. I Let me get some na beautiful shape like this. And now I create chin, but when I create chin, I just drag for it to fit the curve properly. Next I press Enter, and I have half of my head. Now I go into the object mode, I change width to minus, that is I just flip the object and I didn't uh, duplicate object, I pre con press Ctrl D to duplicate it, I press again minus to change it and I can, as you can see, it immediately snapped to the guide. Now these are two separate objects, so what I need to do is to merge them in one object head. Let's click here. We have two objects selected with shift click. I go here and I go into node edit mode. These are po two points as we are snapped, they are just exactly coinc coincide. I select them two and I press this join selected nodes. And now I have this node as one single node and it's on the top of the head. Now the head became one object, I'm just scrolling down and do the same thing with the chin. I join the nodes and now I have my head as a one object. Simple. Now uh, we uh, I don't like the curve of the shape uh, of the head shape here and I want to adjust it a little bit. I go into node edit mode and I select this node. I usually like to work with symmetrical nodes, so I press this one a few times and I change the curvature, maybe the position by dragging, let's reduce the curvature here, yes, and that would be better. I can also do the same manipulations here, as you can see they are not symmetrical anymore, so I need to do some similar manipulations on both sides of the head, and I'm done. I press enter, and I can go back to object mode. Now I create another layer, and call it ears. Let's create shape for those ears. I can click head, scroll a little bit down and reduce its opacity so that I can see ears underneath of my object. Now I click on layer ear or let's make a mistake and I'll draw ear into head object. Let's go into busier curve again. I start drawing ear as usually I click and draw as I am satisfied with the shape, like this. And you see the shape, if we are doing not many manipulation, the shape is rather smooth and clean. And here I can do it like this, pressing Enter, creates me an ear, and I immediately see that the ear is in the head, because it's transparent. If I inc increase transparencies, I, he I see ear in the head, and I want it into its own ear layer, so I right-click it 
and very simple move to layer. Move the selected object to ears. Done. Now I can, for example, move it behind the head, I can move it over the head, and I can go into fill and stroke, and we have here fill color, we have here stroke color, whatever we want, and we have an important thing, a stroke style, this is the most important thing he is, is with. I recommend working with with 4. It uh, creates relatively nice images, but we may, for example, set it to. It will go for details on the objects, or we may go for 7, like something bold or something uh, very big. And that's uh, quite easy, then you just select File, Save As, and after you save as, you export PNG image, and you just export, for example, draw a page, and then select a path and export as.